Hey guys, Sean here. So today we're going to be putting together a device that lets you take an actual Game Boy Color and play it on your TV. Um, uses HDMI, um, has output for a speaker, and it connects to either a classic Wii controller or an old SNES controller. So I need to have a big shout out, big thank you to uh, Gamebox Systems. Um, Gamebox Systems is a collaboration between Novel and Postman Mods. Um, I'm going to have links in the description to where you can get all of these things. But this is a really fun, amazing uh, little device that I was actually really surprised at how easy it was to put together. So um, yeah, let's, um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, real quick though, uh, I actually have a sponsor for this video today. And today's sponsor is PCBWay. Fully featured custom PCB prototype service, PCBWay is a one-stop solution that offers rapid PCB prototyping, 3D printing, CNC, injection molding, and more. Perfect for rapid prototyping as their build and ship time is super quick. Prototype your PCBs the easy way. Check them out at PCBWay.com or see the link in the description of this video to start making your own now. PCBWay Alright, so here's the box that they sent me. Uh, filled with all kinds of <laughs> little extras. Uh, this is an RGB LED microcontroller kit. Uh, so there's a little microcontroller that controls a whole bunch of LEDs for probably a separate project, um, but just a fun little little thing they put. They put in some coffee. I'm not sure what this is. A little, little mystery box. Lots of candy. Really nice guys. The guys over at Gamebox Systems. Yeah, some, some pretty fun stuff. But today, this is what we're interested in. This is the GBHD color kit. Uh, this is the, I think this is the 3D printed shell. Oh yeah, theirs looks really nice. <laughs> I actually 3D printed one myself a little while back, but uh, I guess he they made some revisions to it. So this one, they actually embedded some, oh yeah, some like nice little screw posts in there. So yeah, so let's, uh, I'm not gonna be using this one. I'm gonna be using the one that they sent me because it's it's nicer. Let's see what this is. I'm not quite sure. Little oh, Mario sticker, Tanuki. Looks like some candy and a nice little game box uh, keychain slash bottle opener. Very nice. Thank you guys. Really really appreciate. It. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside um, and let's take a look at what comes with the the mod kit here. All right, so we got some more stickers. Another piece of candy. <laughs> All right, so we have a parts kit. Uh, this is a micro USB cable, looks like. Uh, this is the SNES controller board. A uh, Wii Classic controller board. I don't know if that's an option you can choose between those or use both. And this is their actual uh, circuit board that they created themselves here for this is kind of the brains of the whole thing. So I'm really excited to take a look at this. Yeah, so here we are. Kind of resembles parts of a Game Boy. So kind of interesting. Some ribbons here. Uh, looks like these two are the same. Maybe one's just a, a backup that they sent me. Uh, this looks like it's probably for the, uh, the ribbon connector of the screen. So this is what's called the full size variant. So you use the entire motherboard and just kind of put it inside here. It's gonna be really nice to have a little system to be able to play games on a big screen that's not emulation. It's, an, it's running on actual Game Boy Color hardware. Um, so the first thing we need to do, I guess, is open up this Game Boy Color. This is the Game Boy Color that I took apart from that uh, shadow box. So I know that it's fully working. I was really surprised that video got over a hundred thousand views so far. All right, so here's the Game Boy. So we're not going to be using the speaker. Set that aside and use that later. Removing the battery terminals is actually optional. So now this ribbon connects something like this. So right here, there's a little row of vias, a couple there, and a couple over here. All right, so for for these little spots here, where they want us to kind of file those down. Um, couple different options. You can steal some little sanding sponges from your wife. But these are not very high grit and it might take a little while to... Oh, 
open open those videos up. Uh, that does seem to be working. But you can see here those videos right there. I'm just exposing the copper. So soldering to this is going to be much easier now. There we go. That looks really good. So with that lined up, I'm going to try to kind of tack down maybe this first one. Yeah, it feels like that's nice and tacked down now. Okay, so for these two up here, the first one again. Okay, so now for these, I'm just going to really get in there with my face. All right, now the next step is we're going to prepare this board. So let's set our Game Boy Color aside. So yeah, it does look like you choose between the SNES controller and the Wiimote. Um, so I'm going to be choosing this one. And this looks like it goes this way. So open this up. Something like this. Um, and then this is going to go, let's see. Yeah, and LCD has the, the pins exposed to the top like this. Uh, so let's close that down. And then that's going to go down like this. So now it really it literally is just as putting it in this shell. And I think we're done. Like, uh, this isn't anything actually that complex. Okay, so let's use the three millimeter screws. So I believe that's these here. So let's see if we can get that connected. Oh yeah, it's so nice having threaded inserts in a 3D print. I gotta try that sometime. So this is gonna feel incredibly like nice and secure. I guess this sits right on top of that like this. Yeah, because these ports line up with the back here. So I'm gonna take this off for a second. So you guys can see. Um, actually, I have to bend that a little bit there. And this is going to go down inside here. Get those ports nice and lined up. And there we go. There's the, the screw post nice and lined up. So I guess it really is just that uh, that little bit of soldering at the beginning. And then uh, that's pretty much it. You're just kind of assembling it into the case. Uh, this gets installed here. I genuinely thought that this kit was going to be more difficult than it was. And I'm going to be routing that kind of underneath like this. Okay. And we have two of these shorter screws go in the back here. So there it is. So you have a micro USB, you have your auxiliary speaker port, HDMI, SNES controller, even has a little slot for infrared. Um, and then there's the, the game cartridge slot. So let's, uh, let's go give this a go. Here it is next to my Nintendo Switch back here. Uh, I connected it to HDMI. I plugged it into this, uh, little JBL speaker, and I guess I should put in a game. I have a flash cart here. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so Alright, so it looks really good. Here's the Super Famicom controller. Yep, this works just fine. Obviously, I need a CRT, not a LCD up here, but you know, one day um, I'll get this all set up 
But yeah, it has like perfect upscaling, so there's no like, you know, stretching or distortion or whatever. Yeah, so it's automatically hooked up to A and B correctly. Ah, so the chain chomp looks pretty good. Nice and flashing. I'm gonna die before I get the sword here. Ah, uh, this owl guy. Has my name engraved on it. Okay, let's turn the volume down and let's take a look at some of the settings of this thing. As there's quite a few settings that you can do the on-screen display can be accessed by holding start and select for five seconds. So I'm going to hold down start and select. Oh, there we go. Wow. So that was 480p. This is 720p now. Let's see, 480. That's nice. Scaling. Stretch. TV aspect ratio. Yeah, I like that one. You can overscan on or off that should be off smoothing oh who would want smoothing scan lines that's kind of nice for ooh, various types of that a nice border color link green lit kit maybe that uh the led kit is designed for for this that might be interesting um yeah so i guess you can change the controllers uh, the controls, power is A, info is A, B to exit. Okay, power A. Oh, that turns the power on and off. Wow, it does. Info. So very nice. So you can just press and hold, start and select, go down to power, and then press A and turn the power off, just right from, right from your controller. Um, so let's go ahead and try, maybe I'll try another game here. Um, here's my copy of Pokemon Crystal. So this is an actual game now, not a... So I need to fix the battery in this cartridge, but, um, but yeah, here's Pokemon Crystal. Pretty neat. Okay, let's give it one more try. And I'm gonna try I think this is the most up-to-date version of my game. Yeah, I've compiled my game 3,223 times. All right, so this is Nutmeg's Nut Quest. Um, I have a whole video about this coming up pretty soon, um, but just a give you a little intro to what it looks like. This is the little cutscene at the beginning. Basically you're a mother squirrel and you're trying to get some acorns because you're out of food. You gotta save your little babies. So this guy over here, I'm probably gonna speed up the scene a little bit. This is a, another squirrel named Gordon. He's been stealing all the acorns uh, Nutmeg goes and chases after him, and this uh, this first world is called the Acorn Kingdom, and it's basically a park. Um, and so let's uh, go ahead and play the first level. There's basically just one speed. There's no running. Um, that butterfly over there. It took me so long to get that uh, to basically fly around randomly on the screen. Uh, it's not true random, of course, but it's pretty random. Um, it'll start in the same way every time, but um, if you restart the level, then it will be a little bit different. So, so here's, here's acorns you can collect. There's a little bunny down there. Of course, you can kill enemies by jumping on them. But you want to collect all these acorns. It runs really fast on this GBHD hardware. That's really good. Really nice and smooth. Here's another butterfly to kill, a couple of them. And here's the end of the first level. 
really short, simple first level, but um, yeah, that's all I'm going to show you guys for today. So I'm going to look here's a little bit of level two, but all right, so shutting that down. Anyway, um, yeah, amazing little device. I think I am actually going to get a lot of use out of this thing. So thank you so much for sending this to me, you guys. Um, check them out. Uh, I have links in the description and I'll even pin a comment of where you guys can can uh, look into all of this. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys soon.